Hi friends, today I am going to teach you how to make a bar inventory in Excel. First of all, let us open an Excel sheet. And in the second column, I mean in the first column in the second row, let us enter date. Then leave a column and enter opening balance, OB, which stands for opening balance second received RCV received stocks that come in and then sale what sale we have on the day then anything complimentary if there is any and then the closing balance CB which is stands for closing balance and on the column, last column, we are going to have a variance. Uh, variance means whether it's plus or whether it's minus. Okay. Now let's enter the date for the month of August 18, 2018. I mean, yeah, there we go then drag this till it's 31st 132 33 31st there we go 31st and below after 31st just leave a row and type in total total okay here we go and now let's highlight this with the book box let's put a box here I read this and then go out and select this and select the box yeah same thing here let's select this and drag it down till the total then go and select the box there we go and top in the first row we'll highlight this from here to here and then merge it merge it so that it becomes a one cell and now one gives us a dark box so like you know yeah, there's a box here yeah, here we go okay now let's reduce the width of the column by highlighting this it's too big yeah there we go and let's get this column let us make it small yeah there we go then another below and this this is a received column right so in the received column below let's enter a formula by going up there here auto sum click auto sum and then drag it here till 31st this is to know whether how many bottles you have purchased for the particular month now the same formula you copy it for the three for the sales and for the complementary so you will know how many sales are there and how many complementary you have for the month this, again the same formula the same thing I let copy this to the last one so we will know how much variances are there like how many plus or how many minus at the end of the month whether you are running short or whether you are running excess ok now this is let us put it in the formulas now what is called a closing balance 
closing balance is equal to open the bracket opening balance plus received close the bracket minus again open the bracket sale plus complementary right enter that's close in balance let's drag this down till till 31st yeah there we go now what is variance variance is just again equal to its opening balance of the next day minus closing balance of the previous day yeah so this is for one item now you want to have so suppose this is mineral water you want to have beers you want to have whiskey so just highlight this whole column highlight it copy then leave a column Click here and paste it. There you got another one, right? Again, you want one more. So now this is for beer. Now you want for uh, whiskey. Put here, paste. Again here, one more you got. Again, you need another one. Or wine, suppose. Click here, paste. Right. Suppose we go now. We got four columns. Now let us decrease decrease the size of this mid, middle column. There. And again, highlight this. And decrease the width again to there yeah, again. Again, uh, decrease uh, make it small short. The so gaps to divide the items. Again, handle this. Decrease this. Again, handle this. Like this, decrease this. Now we have, see, there's a gap in between each uh, items. Uh, we have done this, and here again, let us highlight this and merge the center. Let's put mineral water here. And my water. Uh, Budweiser. The next one will put a beer. Budweiser. T W I S E R Budweiser beer. Here we'll have a whiskey. Uh, Jack Daniels. J S C K. Daniel and next we are will have wine I suppose uh, chicken blanks chicken blank wine oh it's a white wine this is how we make it how it looks now. and now I'll show you how it works suppose your opening balance 
of mineral water is 5. See the difference showing in the closing balance. 5 is a closing balance and showing minus 5 the variance. That's because you have not entered the second date. Suppose you have received 5 on first this is a closing balance. It's come 10. Now suppose you sold 2. See the difference in the closing balance. 8 is balance. Suppose complementary was 1. This plus 1. Enter. 7. And on the second day, suppose when you take a physical stock and if you see that you have got 8 bottles of mineral water, just press 8, see the variance and showing 1, means you got 1 excess. The closing balance is 7 and you got 8. So when it is, so suppose if your opening balance is, uh, okay, you got 8 plus, suppose your closing balance is, uh, Six. Let's make it six. See the difference here in the variance. You got minus one. Means you are having minus one short. You have one bottle short in on second. Because your closing balance is seven. And what if your closing balance is opening balance is seven? Let's see. Let's change seven. See. There is no variance. Means your thing is correct. And again there was a sale of three on second no complementary the balance is closing balance is 4 again here your closing balance suppose you got a stock of 4 opening balance you just copy this formula here down drag it down say suppose here it was 6 so you got 2 excess it's simple. So same thing with Budweiser, Jack Daniel and the wine. But here now suppose you all want to know how many cases are gone. Like this formula which I put here, just divided by the number of bottles in a case. Suppose in your case you are having 12 bottles, so you divide it by 12, you have 4 because I have not entered suppose I will made here 12 I received 12 bottles see now means one case same thing here Budweiser divided by 24 because 24 bottles in one carton so I enter here 24 that is so so right and now wine uh, now whiskies Jack Daniels Jack Daniels whiskey you have to divided by divided by 25 because you're going to enter into a peg system 25 peg system is suppose you received uh, 25 pegs means one bottle see that down changes which is taking place it means one bottle you have received and here suppose in Budweiser you have received 24 bottles so see that you have received one carton of Budweiser and suppose the wine so wine is in glasses so how many glasses in one bottle five glasses so suppose you receive one bottle five glasses just five glasses so you go down go down and change the formula here because divided by five means one bottle five glass this is in five glass one bottle that's how it is and now see this now we cannot see what is on top or what's down even when you drag 
when you drag this aside, when you drag the screen aside, you won't be able to see the date. See this. You won't be able to see the date. See, I'm dragging it. You cannot see the date. Even if I'm dragging it down, you cannot see the. So let us highlight. Uh, let us freeze the pins by keeping the cursor here. You keep the cursor here, right on the date one, and the empty column. Just keep the cursor here, and go to view. And then there is a option called free spins. Free spins. Freeze. Now see. Now suppose I go down. See. See this. See. Okay. This is how it is. And now suppose I am going. Um, I am going to the right. Taking my cursor to the right, see this. The date is still there. Got it? I can go down, top. So you need only one. A date column will be only once, but you will have multiple item columns, like for your mineral water, Budweiser, Jack Daniel, and your wines or whiskies or vodkas or whatever product you have in your bar, according to that. Uh, I hope you like my video and if there is anything please press the like button and share it with your people with all the friends so that it be easy for them to do an inventory in Excel without any headache and your boss also will be happy thank you for seeing my video and watching my video goodbye